All right, my next prediction is that you're going to have a quadratic where they talk about the number of real solutions. If you see a constant, you can use Desmos and make a slider. So it's going to be very, very easy. If there's no real solution, we're going to basically move K around until the graph is floating and it doesn't touch the X axis at all. That's what we want. And so let's find out what the least possible value of K is. OK, well, what happens when we put an equal sign? This is one thing I want to talk to you guys about. If you have a quadratic and you go to graph in Desmos and you put an equal sign, you're going to see lines straight up and down like this. That's because um, Desmos is trying to just find the solutions to the quadratic. So so if you want to see that nice parabola shape, add the 16 over to the other side and take away the equal sign. Now we can actually see the parabola. Do you guys see that? I want to move K around until there's no solution. And as you can see right now, we have two solutions at these random decimals hitting the x-axis. Now, when I move K, what happens? Well, it looks like once I get up to 10, I'm close to getting right over it, but not quite. So I'm going to go bigger and change my interval and let's move it again. When K is 50, I'm not touching. If K is 49, I am touching. So the minimum value that K could be, it looks like is 50 for there to be no solution.